All right, welcome back to episode eight of Building Our Own Pico Reef. It's time to finalize the stocking. First, we remove the urchin since he's eaten all the algae, and we start acclimating the two Nasaria snails. I do this by drip acclimating them, so I'm slowly adding a turkey baster um, every minute for 10 minutes until the water is the same, and then I can add the Nasaria snails. I love these as an option because they are very efficient at cleaning both the sand bed and the rock, but they are also extremely fun to watch with those long elephant-like trunks. The next guy is a porcelain crab. He is a filter feeder. You can see his arm there. I'll lift up this rock so you can see him. He's a great addition. He hides a lot, but he's a fun filter feeder. And when you do see him, it is really cool to watch. I am personally on team don't put fish inside of a pico reef. I think inverts are often overlooked in the hobby, but in a pico reef, they can be really fun to see their character and their personalities really shine. So do some research, think outside the box, and find some really awesome invertebrates for your pico reef.